Welcome to another Tableau tutorial video. I'm Weston Palmer. If you find these videos helpful, consider supporting me through Patreon. So this is a very specialized case, but I think that you will see some things here that will prove helpful and you might be able to apply it in some of the other work that you're doing. Let's say that I have three stores and they have different locations and each of these locations has a credit score. And I want the credit score for the main JCPenney, Kmart, Target to be the lowest or the highest score. So in this case, you would want, uh, it goes triple A, double A, A, and then in this case you would have, you know, triple C plus, triple C, triple C minus, double C, and single C. So the more a, the more letters is better than single. All right, so what I want to be able to do is come in here. I'm going to leave that there. I'm going to come to the store. So I've gotten rid of the location. So you can see there's all these different credit ratings. And so I want to come in here and I'm going to select max because I want it to be the max or the minimum. It doesn't matter. And so it gives me a score. Great, triple C plus, B, and C. Let's take a look at the dashboard though. When we're looking at JCPenney's, the, uh, the worst credit score is actually in Boise. And so what I want this to be is I want this to be uh, triple C minus. Kmart, that worked out fine, B. Target, uh, also worked out fine. I don't know how you want to handle the nulls. We're just going to ignore those, ignore those for right now. But um, target is also a C. So we want the JC Penny to be um, this triple C minus. So what's happening? When we're, what's happening when we're going to the max? Well, it's important to remember that when Tableau is looking at text fields, and is ranking them or sorting them, this is how they sort them. So you can see here that C plus is actually after C minus, and triple letters are after single letters. So this is backwards than we, we want it. The first thing I did was I came and created a calculated field, and I said, okay, and this is only going to work if you have a limited number of options, like credit scores, there's only a limited number. What's limited? It depends on how much work you want to put in. So the credit score, I just gave, assigned all of them a number, thinking, okay, well, this way I can make sure that triple C plus is rated higher or lower than triple C and triple C minus. So the the order isn't necessary. I mean, the order is important. The numbers, do you have the highest one up above is low or high? Because we can always flip it around, right? Minus, min or max. I just wanted to assign it to a number. So I assigned it to a number. Great. And now when I say max, I got to change this to discrete. And when I get rid of, I should really, well, sorry guys. Let me just duplicate this real quick. So this is where we're working. And so now when I've got these, the score here, I'm going to get rid of the location and this credit score because that's still implying there's a location. And now I can pick the max and it's got a score. Let's see here. 80 is minus C. Okay, great. That that works. That's what I was looking for. And then I can just come in here and I, so then I said, okay, that was the original, right? Now I came in here and I assigned aliases. So originally I set each of these to a number and now I'm coming in here and adding a number to that. So I'm going to show you what happens. Put the location back in here. We have the credit score number. And it gives me all these 
just like I was hoping. This works great. Get rid of that. Change, it still has the, the letters. Change this to max. Change this to discrete. And now it goes back to number. Tableau doesn't allow you to assign a alias to an aggregate. Okay. So what I decided to do is I, at this point I realized what was happening is that it was sorting in this fashion. So I came over and I created another calculated field. I know this is a little involved. I created another calculated field that rather than using numbers uses text, right? So this has one letter, so that's going to show up first. Think about if you're alphabetizing something, then this was two X's, three X's. You can use whatever number, but just being, or whatever letter. It goes through six, seven, eight, nine, ten, so that you have the order correctly. So it's always going to put triple A at the beginning and C at the end because of the way you've got these. Now when I come here, let me credit score. This is for the different scores. So now if I do a max, you know what's going to happen. It gives me a max, which is great. But it doesn't give me the option to give an alias. So what I did was I created... Uh, Oh, here it is. I created another calculated field that basically assigns an alias. So it says when max credit score, that's the one we were just looking at up here, equals X, then I'm translating it to triple B, A. You know, all these different items are translating to the correct letter. And so now when I drop this on, it gives me the letter equivalent. So when I look here at JCPenney, the lowest score is triple C minus, and there's triple C minus. The lowest score here is B for Kmart, and is B. The lowest one here is C, and there you go, C. So the key is you have to have two calculated fields. One that translates your score. Another option I had with this, this, this data set is uh, good, better, best. So translating it into a, a number of characters. So Tableau will take that and sort by those characters, by the number. And then coming to translate, essentially creating an alias table. Uh, no, nope, that was the first one I did. Down here is creating an, creating an alias table, or calculated field, where you've got the aggregate function here. What does that value, when it's this value here, translate it to here. Leave comments and let me know if there's other ways you would use it. Thanks for watching. I hope you'll subscribe and turn on notifications so you know when new videos are released. Check out some of these other videos I think you'll find helpful.